Hey guys, it's Samuel Boulanger from Power Platform Geek. Uh, in today's video, we'll look at something I'm often asked by a customer, which is to receive monthly or weekly uh, a list of CRM records by email. Uh, so to do so, and to the example, we'll uh, use a monthly reminder containing a list of open opportunities that we'll send to our CRM users. So let's get started. Okay, so let's just start by looking at the entire Power Automate and then I'll break down each action one by one. So first thing uh, I've done is to create a trigger uh, that will run each month to send our uh, monthly notification. Then I'm listing all the users in the system. It was my main difficulty for this Power Automate. It was that I only want to send email to the users in my system that have opportunities. So to do so, I'll see. I'll show you later, but I'll have to count the number of opportunities I have for each user. If they have some, I'll send them an email. So I'm listing the opportunities, then I'm initial, initializing an array variable and i explain uh, why uh, later on. And for each user, I'm listing their opportunities. So the power activate will return me a list of opportunities grouped by user, actually. For each of those, I'm getting the account, okay? Because I want the account name and by default, uh, if you, you use a list record functions, uh, the lookup will only return you the quid of uh, the value. So for instance, in the opportunities, you have the, the main account and this is a lookup pointing to the account record. Uh, in Power Automate, it will return me the GUID, so the alphanumeric uh, characters uh, related to this account. That's not what I want. I want the account name itself because I want to include it in my email. So to do so, to get this name, I need to use a get account uh, on the potential customer, which is the account, to later on get the account name. Then that's where I'm using the variable, the array variable uh, I've initialized outside of my loop. So now I'm inside of the loop. So in my for each opportunities, I'm, uh, I'm putting the data inside my variable I just initialized. And this data is the information coming from my get account, but also the information coming from my opportunity itself. So this information will be used in my, uh, my email uh, later on. Then I'm composing, I'm using a compose action to count the number of opportunities uh, I have uh, for each user. And based on that, I'm checking if the user have one more than one opportunity. If that's so, I'm creating an HTML table using the information coming from my array, so from my, uh, my variable I, I created before. And then I'm using this HTML table in my email notification. So let's get back to the beginning and look at them one by one. The first one is a schedule action where I'm, I'm saying each month I want to run this power estimate. And I can add more uh, op options. I can add the time zone and the start time. So let's say I want to send a weekly reminder that will run each Monday at seven in the morning. That's something I can do uh, using these options. Then I'm listing all the users in the system. The thing is, depending on the number of users you have, there's a lot of information in the user table. Uh, it will return a lot of data, so uh, it can make your power automate a little bit slow. So that's for, for this reason, I've used the select query and I'm, I'm just returning actually the internal email address. So I'm telling the system, um, I don't want all the fields in the user table, I just want the email address because that's the information I'll use in my email later to send a notification. Then I'm just initializing an array variable that uh, as I, I showed you, uh, I'll use later on to populate the data coming from my loop. And, and remember that a variable always must be initialized outside of the loop. So that's why I'm initializing uh, it at this point. Then I'm creating my first loop. So the loop will be for each user. So if each user returning by this list user um, 
action, I want you to list all his opportunities. And to create this loop, this for each user, I, I, I used a filter query based on the system user ID coming from my list user. So I'm telling the system list all user opportunities based on the owner ID. So I want the opportunities grouped by owner or by user using this owner ID value must be equal to the system user ID which reside in the list users action. Then for each of those, I'm getting the account. So I'm getting the information from a link table, which is the account table. So on the entity account, look for the item ID, which is the potential customer. So that's the field in the opportunity containing the lookup to the account. And uh, if you want to, you can again uh, limit the information uh, that will be returned by the system. I didn't in that case. Once it's done, you will append data to your array variable. And why we're doing that is because when you're creating the notification email at the end, you won't be able to um, refer to data that it's not in the same loop as the email itself. Meaning that I'll just show you this email there is part of this loop so for each user meaning that for each user i want to send an email if i put my email notification it's let's say this loop there it will send me an email for each opportunities of each user meaning that each user will receive the number of email of um, equal to the number of opportunities that they have that's not what i want so that's why i'm using a variable in this loop to get the data coming from uh, this get account and then I'll be able to refer to a variable same if I'm outside the loop. So that's where I'm, I'm getting uh, the account name coming from this get account and then I'm also getting the topic estimated close, day, close date and estimated revenue actually you can put whatever information you want uh, that's basic JSON okay so if I want to add data I just add whatever so let's say um, priority and then I'm using dynamics value there and there you go okay so that's pretty easy to use uh, and then we'll format the layout of this uh, array later on using the compose table so once it's done, so I'm, I'm, I got my topics coming from my list opportunities. I get my account name coming from my get account. Now what I want to do is to count how many opportunities each user have because if they don't have one, uh, I don't want to send them an email. So I'm using a compose action and in this compose action, I'm using an expression which is length. So if you're looking at the linked uh, functionality, uh, actually it counts the number of item in an array. And I'm telling the system that my, my output is in my list opportunities and I want it to um, actually calculate all the um, items returned by my list records, which is uh, list user opportunities. So in this one. So for each user, it will count how many opportunities it return in this list record because it's filtered by owner ID, so by user. Based on that, I will use a condition and based on the output of this compose action, I'm looking if there's uh, the result is greater than one. If it is, I'm creating an HTML table, okay? And the HTML table will be based on my array. Okay, so the array from my, my variable I just shown you before. So this one. And I'm telling the system to automatically generate the column. So there's two ways of using create HTML table. You can either use an automatic column, which makes sense when you're using a variable containing JSON, or you can create custom table and then saying, okay, here's my topic. Oops. Here's my topic and the value is, okay, so that's another way of doing it. But for instance, if I want the account name, 
as you can see, I can't get to it because in it's in this loop, and I'm I'm not inside of it, and I can't refer directly to um, my append variable. So that's why I'm using automatic colon, and that I um, I added all the columns that I want directly in the JSON. Then once it's done, I want to send the email notification. So I'm sending it to the primary email of my user, okay, then the, my first loop. So the primary email, it's actually the only data uh, the, the Power Automate returned me because I filtered on it at the beginning. So I just said I want the internal email address because it's the only data that I need to send my email. Then I add my subject, I add my body, and my body is the output of this HTML table. So it's just this one, create HTML table. So once it's done, you have a flow that will run monthly. We'll get a list of opportunities for all your, your users. We'll count it. And if they have opportunities answering to the criteria as you've defined in your list of opportunities uh, action, we'll send them an email with all the opportunities. If you want to look at how it look, I'll just show you this. So let's take this one. So my recurrence running each month, then it lists users. And okay, that's where, where it become interesting. So for each user, so now I have 65 users, it will run and list the opportunities. For each of those, you get the account. Okay, so this one is blank because there's no opportunities probably for the user in that loop. Then account. Okay, so this user has zero. But if I'm looking, I take my user, it's number nine, something like that, um, which has eight opportunities. So based on that, account number of opportunities, and then I fall under my uh, yes condition and I'm creating my HTML table so as you can see okay so my topic my account my estimated close date my estimated revenue and that's my input coming from my JSON and there's my output coming from my HTML table then I'm using it to create uh, to create my body in HTML for my email okay, and send it to this user which has eight opportunities and it will look something like it will look something like this Uh, obviously, there's a way to uh, improve the layout. Uh, I'll not cover that in this video. You 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 have to use CSS. Uh, maybe I'll cover it in a later video if there's uh, some interest. So thank you for watching. I hope it's helpful. If you have any questions uh, or any comments, uh, just uh, comments in any of my social medias or under the YouTube videos or on the blog. It will be my pleasure to uh, answer any other question you can have. So have a great day, guys.